Oh, we're live. Oh, we're live in six minutes. Yeah, no, live. no, he's going to click it on right now. Yes? Oh, yeah. We're live. We're All right, guys. All of you, we really need your help right now. Uh, we got ourselves in a little bit of a pickle, quite the pickle to be exact. Uh, we're in Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, we're driving down the road. Wheel comes completely flying off our trailer. Thankfully, no one was injured. No other vehicles were damaged. And we were able to get ourselves off the highway and into a safe location so that we minimize any other risk there further. But let me check. Let me let you guys check out what exactly it looks like. And then what I want to do is, you know, implore everybody in the area. If you know someone that has the ability to help us, welders, mechanics, or so forth, have them reach out to us directly at Doug at adventureswithpurpose.com. The local trailer place here at the moment is not able to assist us as of yet. So this is something that we're really going to need to draw on our local resources here, our supporters. If you know somebody, reach out to us, put us in contact with them. We're in a huge parking lot here. And as you can see here, we're check this out. So the entire hub assembly has come off of this right here. So we're going to have to replace this entire assembly as well as do some welding and et cetera. So any help we can get in the area, uh, we do have a great parts center here, rides to the parts center to get the um, stuff that we need and so forth. Any little bit of resources that we can get, we'd be really appreciative to keep us on the road, to keep us going over to our next case and so forth. This is obviously, this stuff happens unexpected. And yeah, it's a lot of damage. Talking about having to replace this entire assembly here, which is going to require welding. Uh, at the moment, I'm pretty sure we're able to get all of these parts here locally. Um, but we're looking to not only replace this, but also make some, some minor upgrades to possibly uh, strengthen this up for us and so forth. Um, but yeah, this is really a... Uh, Shout out to all our supporters in the Minnesota area. Again, we're in Rochester, Minnesota. If there is anyone in this area that is able to draw on a resource here locally uh, between here and Minneapolis, whether that's uh, towing to help us get this to where it needs to go, we need to contact somebody who knows whether or not they're able to fix this, even if it might be local here on the spot in the parking lot, let us know. Uh, Doug at adventureswithpurpose.com. Uh, right now we are in the parking lot uh, in between Denny's and Olive Garden. And we're going to be here for quite some time. Uh, these, these problems, there's solutions to them. So we're not too worried. It's just that we don't have any local resources here. And this is where the power of the AWP family comes into play. You know, we can come together. You guys can help us out with resources and so forth. Like I just mentioned, uh, it's going to take quite the repair to repair this so that we can continue on to our next case. Luckily, our next case is actually right here in Rochester, where we're going to be searching for Jody Buckerman, who's been missing for over a year now. So the importance of this getting back on the road so we can continue to help families is critical. Any help we can get, we're really, really appreciative. Uh, what, what kind of questions and comments do we have coming in right Rick now? Rick Hasty says, bullet trailer parts of service, yes. LLC. Yes, so, 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 so we've, we've been in contact with Cullet Trailer and Services. Uh, we've spoken with Jennifer. Um, she is attempting to get this done for us. However, we don't have any answer. Um, as you guys know, a lot of places are extremely backed up. Um, resources are limited uh, they're, if they're even available. So we don't have a definitive an answer from Call It as of yet. Uh, Leslie Hicks says, replacing the axle will be cheaper than trying to repair it. Oil bath axles will sure be better than torsion standard axles. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. A anything we can do to repair this, and upgrade it at the same time and also make it simplified. Uh, that, that's the mission where we could, to get it done. I mean, I'm not a super mechanic, so I don't know all of those logistics, but that sounded great. You know, just, instead of just replacing the hub, we placed the whole axle 
and maybe even put a, a inch or two higher lift on it as well. Cole Ferguson says, give me a call at 507-932-5683. Maybe he's got some. Okay. All right. All right. right Yeah, Nick, Nick. So we got, we got the whole crew out here. We got Rattler in. Uh, We, we have obviously Carson is conducting the live stream right now. Josh Cantu over there. And we have Devin, our brand new cam a videographer, which you guys have been introduced to and Josh is behind the scenes and so forth. Yeah. Five of us out here on the road right now we're stuck, but where there's problems, there's solutions. We're going to get to them. Uh, we just need just a little bit of help, you know, gathering out up those resources. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Say that again. Reiterate what's happening. Yeah. You know, so, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are just joining right. Right. Today. So for those of you who are just joining in, we broke down. We're in Rochester, Minnesota, and this is what we're working with. Entire hub assembly here is gone. Came off, thankfully, did not hit another car because it did bounce over a car, didn't cause an accident. And thankfully, this other wheel behind me, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, Jared upgraded these tires before we left. We had some really small tires on this trailer, not small, but smaller. But Jared upgraded these tires. Had Jared not upgraded these tires before we left, when that front wheel snapped, this one would have gave out too, and it would have been a, a lot worse predicament right now for us. So thankfully that was done. It, it saved the entire trailer. It would have just shredded it and destroyed the entire trailer had uh, those older wheels been on here. So thanks, Jared, for upgrading the tires before we left. We were able to get to a safe location because you did so. Bottom of the screen is the email. Yeah, to contact. so at, at, in the link below is the email to contact me. We also if, if, drop your phone number if you have a legitimate resource, a way of helping here in the Rochester, Minnesota area. Um, we'll have Rattler or myself or Josh Cantu get a hold of you so we can coordinate that. Again, we really appreciate any at all that uh, come forward and give us any type of resource or assistance whatsoever keeps us on the road we're out here trying to do amazing things for families and that's what we're trying to do we're just trying to stay on the road stay on to our next case thankfully like i just said a little while ago we're in rochester we're we're working our next case right now it's just we're delayed things happen obviously they happen unexpected you can never plan for these type of situations um we do we do have triple a however triple a is not going to be con- they're they're not going to deal with this right now. Uh, AAA is for towing and all of that. They're, they're not going to fix what we're doing. We need, we need repairs done, uh, heavy repairs done. And the right mechanic might be able to do it right here in the parking lot. We are working with a 27-foot trailer. I'd say it's probably about you know 8,000 pounds, uh, double axle with three tires on it at the moment. It's a ball hitch trailer, pulls with a ball hitch, two and five sixteenths. Say it again. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are quick. I'm Doug. Greg, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we did contact them. They, they haven't given us a definitive answer as of yet. Um, they didn't say no. They're just trying. They're going. This is unexpected. Yeah. And to do something on the fly and drop all their projects and coordinate the resources, uh, they're going to get back to us. So I'm sure it will happen here shortly. If not, we're we're trying to gather. Okay. You know. Yeah, we just saw it. it was like, well, they're they're around us. Yeah. And my yeah. wife, she just watches all your. Videos. Nice. Thank so you guys. Like, Thank oh, you guys. Yeah. It's like, oh, we better go see them. Check yeah. Them out, make sure y'all are good. I appreciate so, your guys' support. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Everybody support is what makes all of this possible. That's solving cases, that's being a voice for the voices, and, um, presenting sto- uh, family stories that haven't been presented and drawing awareness. Yeah. You guys simply just watching us and what we do yeah. allows us to do what we do. So thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. It, 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 it's it's awesome that we have everybody's support and yeah. it's critical. Well, good luck with everything. Yeah, g- give me a second, I have something for you. Yeah. Josh is gonna hook you up. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> See, already, I already love showing up, support. Uh, yeah, what did the comments say? How do you donate? How do I donate? 
uh, you, 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 if, if, if you have the ability to donate, you can donate at adventureswithpurpose.com. There is a donation link there. Uh, you'll find the donation link, uh, this specific, specific page just for that. <clears throat> I'm out of breath. Linda Sump says, uh, what the make and model? Uh, just like that. <laughs> this is a, a trailer one. We have more cars showing up. This is an interstate trailer. Uh, I believe it's eight foot by 27 feet long. Um, that's that's pretty much it. It's an interstate plus trailer. Great trailers. Um, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, this happens. It's part of being on the road. It just sucks, you know, when we're not in our area or areas where we have uh, defined resources already. So, and that's the power of what we do. Everything that we do at Adventures with Purpose wouldn't have been possible from day one without your guys' support leading us to the growth that we've had today and solving so many cases, working so many cases. We wouldn't have half the cases that we work if it wasn't for you and so forth. Like you guys control all of this. Not me, not Jared, not Carson, not Josh. It's you guys that put us in a position to do it and keep us in that position. Our Royce Henry says, no one's called Power Shop yet. You may need major guidance on this. Okay. What, what, what shop is that? Uh, he, he, he said our to, shop. To, okay. Eight, 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 Hold on. Let's let's five, let's, let's get let's get Nick to make that phone call. So three, eight, hey Nick. One, five, Nick, are you on the phone? Yeah. Great teamwork, man. So we have Nick on here taking pictures to send to somebody who has some questions. Nick, we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need uh, J maybe Josh or you. You wanna make a phone call? Yeah, I'll make a phone call real quick. Uh, let me get that number shown up here. Where were you seeing it's that at? 885 trailer. Oh, 8885 trailer. Yeah. Again, we are in, uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, we're in Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, a little bit of a mishap, quite a bit of a mishap. We have a trailer tire, front trailer tire on the front passenger side uh, come flying off as we're uh, in the middle of working a case. And we were able to safely get it off the highway. No other vehicles were damaged or in, you know, no one was injured, which is great. You know, these things happen all the time and cause really, really big accidents and a lot of damage to multiple vehicles. So thankfully uh, that did not happen. And uh, we were able to get off the side of the highway into a safe parking lot. So no risk was, you know, further, you know, chance of it being damaged by a car, you know, driving by and crashing into us. So we're in a safe parking lot. We're in Olive Garden. In, we're in the Olive Garden parking lot in between Denny's and uh, was this Wild Bill's Saloon. You can see hub completely come off to my understanding. We're going to need a whole new axle. So we're going to need to gather those parts and we need a welder. We need a welder, mechanic, master mechanic, somebody that we can either get to or come to us. So if you guys know anybody in the Rochester, Minnesota area, let us know. The email link is below Doug at adventures with purpose .com. Um, Yes, we have spares. However, Oh, 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 somebody just rolled up with authority and said that they have us taken care of. How's it going, brother? Good. I'm Doug. Family Adventures on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a big Probably can have you on. It'll be. I'm in the middle of finishing a boat. It'll be this evening, but I can do it. Okay. Okay. Dominic. Dominic uh, just pulled up. Dominic says that he. You guys need to know these are Dexter axles. Dexter axles. Dexter axles. Are you with a company or? Are you are you are you just solo? I am myself. 
Oh yeah, okay, all right. What, what company uh, are you with? Dom's Repair and Fabrication. Okay. Family Adventures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I saw. It. Okay, yeah. yeah. Nice. I mean, thank, thank, call, dude, you just one. came in like lightning, dude. I was on the north side of town. A friend of mine, actually, with Whitney's Whitetails on YouTube, messaged me and said, hey, these guys are broke down, and we watch you guys all the yeah, time all yeah, over the yeah. country. So, so what we, what we were thinking, we did have another um, supporter that was like, yeah, you guys just need to switch the whole is thing out. It is. It is. Um, yeah. So. It's the trend wore out since the, uh, the front one. It's oh. the keys are too close to here and i think that's so part that, of the problem oh, what's the other side look yeah go check it out i think it's great it's awesome yeah So, so what's the discussion right now? Um, we're talking about what it would take to raise it up. He's saying Either that these tires need to come off because they're too big, they're too tall, or we need to put like a six inch block in between the frame and the axle. Um, what, what would be your recommendation? So, if you so want we to run these heavier because these are a heavier tire. I understand why you're running them. Yeah. Right. Um, the, so what is the uh, chance that we could delete both the axles, upgrade them, and just lift it a little bit. And be bad. I will have to see. I mean, I, I know that's not like a. Be, you'd probably be here the weekend in Rochester. Because the, the, theoretically, that would be the ideal so that we're trying to just, just keep us on the road, you know? If it was my trailer and I was going to do this, that's what I tell all my customers. Okay, it, yeah. If it was mine and I'm going to fix it, I would upgrade, get rid of the torsion axles, and put leaf spring axles underneath of it. Seven thousand pound axles, because you guys haul a lot of gear yeah, here. I, like, uh, I see, I see the yeah, gear you guys oh, yeah, pull yeah, out of here all yeah. the time. So I would upgrade to leaf spring axles, eight lug wheels. Then the problem is, eighteen six tires, it'd be tires and wheels and axles, the whole package. Okay. So that's kind of where you guys are at. Right. All right. Any, a, anything that's going to keep us on the road longer and right. safer. Well, then you uh, run a load chain tire, which is a heavier, stiffer commercial tire. You're not going to have blowouts on the road. I run load chains on everything. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. I like the sound of that. We, we can definitely do it. It's just right. you're going to be here the weekend. No. Okay. Uh, as soon as the end of the world, I mean, well, yeah. Whatever's going to, the spot's going to basically almost guarantee that we won't have this kind of issue again. It'll be worth it. I know that's not my call, but what do you think, Doug? Um, obviously, uh, what's going to benefit us in the long run, what's going to benefit, floor where you guys yeah, through. yeah, what, oh, yeah. what's, what, what's going to benefit keeping us on the road and helping more people so that this doesn't happen again. Um, yeah, I mean, we could easily replace the axle. You know, right. that's that, easy. I that's can... easy. Um, if, if we can replace just the axle and we have to, let's do that. But if if one day or so is going to allow us to um, not happen again or make it more durable, per se. It would definitely be more durable. Jared says yes, do the whole package. Yeah. I don't disagree. Yeah, I mean, this, this I mean, Jer yeah, trailer. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Jer Jared's been talking about that for for a while now. So, um, yeah, let's. You're an angel, man. You're you're an absolute angel. Absolutely. You guys, you guys make it all happen. <laughs> I just got through saying that right before Dominique pulled up, and um, very very special thing that you guys put us in the ability to to be here to do this from day one uh, really appreciate all your guys' support again we're in between the denny's and the uh, olive garden in rochester minnesota we just broke down um for right now we do have the resource uh here to help us we have it pretty much figured out again if you turn on this and you're watching this later you know shoot us an email if you have any tips or 
Um, if you're able to help donate to help us fix this, please go over to adventureswithpurpose.com, hit the donation tab link. And if you have it, do it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just simply watching, subscribing, sharing our videos is a contribution that makes all of this happen. Thank you all, you guys. I really appreciate your support and rallying for us today. Hopefully we'll be back on the road here shortly. And so then that uh, 